Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. AMD has finally confirmed its highly anticipated Ryzen CPU's release date. It will release March 1st, which is just four weeks away. They also let us know that the Vega GPU will be released in the second quarter of 2017, which is roughly about May or June. Now, as usual, I will leave a link in the in the description of the article down below so you guys can click on it for yourself. Now AMD looks set for a busy first and second quarter this year as it has just confirmed some specific release dates for its highly anticipated Ryzen CPU and Vega GPUs. Now answering questions in the earnings call this week, AMD CEO Lisa Su let it slip that the Ryzen CPU is expected to release in early March, just over four weeks away. Now in a recent leak we saw that it's going to be four core and eight core parts. Now Lisa excitingly also stated that there would be widespread availability from day one. Now this is something that has hampered sales from AMD CPUs and APUs in the past. Now motherboard manufacturers have already shown their socket AM4 models which appear to offer similar features to the Intel based Z270 chipset counterpart. So everything looks set for a smooth launch in terms of hardware. Now its Vega GPU looks set to hit shelves in the second quarter this year with a similar comment from Lisa Su on the launch date of AMD's next graphics card launch. However, little is known about the naming scheme with some websites claiming AMD will skip a high-end 4 400 series launch to stand on the shoulders of the existing RX 480 and move straight to a 500 series range of GPUs. However, according to some other sites, Fallout 4's new high-res texture pack briefly lists a so-called RX 490 as a recommended GPU, so it's still not 100% certain which route AMD will take for naming its Vega GPUs. Now Ryzen will be coming first, and this is a new range of CPU, it has plenty of fans already excited from AMD's benchmarks, and Intel will find it will have some competition at last. Now I have to say, I am really excited about this because I don't want to knock Intel because Intel makes a great CPU, they do, but because they've had a stranglehold on the market, you know, they become stagnant in their innovations and of course their pricing has been high. Now Vega, Vega, we've been looking at the roadmap for Vega for a long time and we've been anticipating it. Finally we know that it's going to be the second quarter of this year, so roughly May or June that it will be released. And just like the um, Zen CPU, this will be disruptive as it will be Priced, it should be priced a lot cheaper than the alternative GTX 1080 or the Pascal series. So I'm really excited for this. And of course, the Xbox Scorpio is rumored to have the Vega GPU in it too. Now, there's some other tidbits that came out of this conference call. Um, they expect to move a lot of Vega units. Um, they they had they made good progress last year in their sales. They lowered their losses, and um, they're gonna skip 10 nanometer process and move straight to seven nanometer. Meter. So I don't know if something happened at uh, Glowfab or wherever they get their um, silicone made at, but apparently I've heard rumors that 10 nanometer has not been uh, yielding good, has not had good yields, so they're skipping it and they're going straight to 7 nanometers. So I would suspect next year when Navi is coming out that it would be 7 nanometer and of course offer us much more efficiency and a higher power rating. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for the uh, Ryzen CPU that it's finally here just four weeks away? And are you excited for the Vega GPU which is going to be coming out in May or June? Anyways, I'd ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.